Hi guys, it's Bart from Fitness After 30 again coming to you with a new topic which is budget trainers. Now before we start I just want to make sure that I clarify what I mean by budget. Uh, you may have seen or heard of some of these trainers before and think like what the hell they are not budget they are actually quite expensive. Now just to clarify I'm talking about these uh, calling these budget because you can get some really good deals on them so if you've seen for example a pair of these which are the uh, Nike free free knit 4.0 uh, in Nike store they will be 130 quid but actually you can get them online or, or uh, somewhere in an outlet store for around I don't know 50 60 quid if you if you really try hard so I got these them in Australia when I was in Sydney I got them for something silly like 45 quid so you can get a deal on those so let's really quickly talk through the range of shoes that we have here so we have the fly knit, uh, fly knit free 4.0s really good shoe really flexible shoe it's a brilliant pair of trainers if you re always want to carry something in your bag and you want to be ready for a workout, you don't know when you're gonna go to the gym or when you will have a moment to do some uh, do some training and you want something like in your bag all the time. So these are perfect for you. But they are not designed for weightlifting. So it's more a case of, they, they, they are not designed for weightlifting nor they are designed for long runs. So these are perfect for people who like a mix of the, the, their training is a mix of lunges sort of classes not, uh, runs not longer than 5k i'm talking here around like sort of 20 25 minutes uh, anything longer than that you will miss uh heel support and the cushioning and, and, and the proper running sole of proper running shoe unless you have a very good hip stability which not many of us do and then you can you can run like the kenyans do with with uh, bare feet so if if you are one of these people i envy you and you can definitely then you can definitely use those for running otherwise i wouldn't run more than 5 5k in those other features very breathable i mean when you put them on you don't feel them uh it's it's like they fit like a glove no they, they, because of the flexibility they have, they are very, very comfortable and very adjustable. Sort of, you, yeah, you can you can really do anything in in, in them uh, when it comes to dynamic movement. Really, really sort of sudden changes of uh, some sprint. Yes, yeah, again, some sprint, some speed work. These these would be my choice. Now the next pair of shoes is the Speed TR that came out in 2016. These are the uh, CrossFit branded shoes uh, from Reebok. And they are also, they are a similar lightweight speed shoe for speed training. But the advantage of those is that the heel is very stable. If you are planning to do some uh, you know, introduction to cross, if you are introducing, uh, if you introduce to CrossFit, uh, but still want a shoe versatile to do uh, everything like a bit of running, a bit of uh, rope skipping, a bit of classes, you know, shoe that will fit uh, fit you well during classes, I would go for these. Personally, I have a pair that I wear to work uh, on a daily basis because they are so comfortable. They are considered a minimal shoe just like the fly knits here and yeah they they cost they, they are quite cheap actually uh, but i'll talk through prices later on another budget shoe is the nano 5.0 and the reason why i say it's a budget shoe is because it's the two, 2015 uh, model of uh, rebox rebox nano shoe uh, nano is the name of a collection that is designed for crossfit so and at the moment, these go, I saw some deals for 40, 45 pounds online. You can see in my other video, I'm comparing all the Nano, all the f latest free versions of the Nano shoe. 
uh, from Reebok and I don't rate these very high but simply because I have a narrow foot so if you have a wider foot uh, or you're, you're sort of a bit um, bigger bigger of a person then you may enjoy these they are not designed for running these are very much a shoe that will make you feel comfortable with squatting the sole is very very stable uh, but flexible enough to do some box jumps to do some uh, lunges things like that but running you I wouldn't run more than a mile in these shoes so so if if your workout is a metcon a combination of of different movements where a run is a very short part of it then I would go for these now the evolution of Nano 5 is the Nano 6 my one of my personal favorites uh, they took a lot of what didn't work in Nano 5 and uh, really address the issues uh, those the issues in Nano 6 so what Nano 6 is is a super upgrade to Nano 5s now they the sole is a little bit more flexible and on top of that a little bit more stable so when you if you're looking for a very versatile shoe that will be good for lifting like squatting deadlifting even sort of snatching and olympic uh, and olympic lifts and for a little bit of running like up to 5k like these these here then i would definitely go for nano 6 now they would be a little bit more expensive now nano 7 just came out so look out for bargains on this shoe Na nano 7 because of nano 7 i think a lot of retailers just took their stock offline for these but uh, we are talking I think sometime mid Feb end of Feb these will be back in stock we are looking mid Feb 2017 so definitely look out for 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 really good bargains I'm talking here I'm talking 50 pounds here and again these are the shoe that all the CrossFit athletes were using during the CrossFit games you can see uh, people like Rich Froning using them, people like uh, Brandt Fikowski if you're into CrossFit using them. But not only CrossFitters, uh, many weightlifters do enjoy, many, do, many CrossFitters do enjoy CrossFit shoes just because they are so well thought out, well designed, robust and durable. Again, durability, when it comes to durability, there's nothing from this range that will beat these two. If you want to work out, if you are a kind of person that want, really wants to get into flipping tires outside and um, running on raw concrete and, I don't know, climbing walls and climbing ropes, Nano 5 and Nano 6 should be your choice. Now, something that should really be put with the Speed TR and the line it free uh, Nike free shoe is this which is the Nike zoom version of the uh, training the, the training version of the Nike zoom shoe it's the entry-level training shoe but don't be fooled by the name entry because because they are a very very good shoe that will take you through the hardest of the workouts now the key key features of this shoe is that it really fits quite well. Uh, I would almost say, even though I have a flat flat foot, I, I think I went half a size too small on these because they are almost too tight. If I were, uh, these are a perfect shoe to wear uh, without a sock. If you if you like working out without socks, I would I would go for these or the fly knit ones they breathe perfectly so there is no problem there and the sole is very again the sole the, the is, is very stable so it, it will be good for weightlifting it doesn't have a lot of cushioning so it's good for power transition if you are looking for a shoe that you will be able to power lift in and also they are relatively flexible so if you want to do some uh, 
skipping rope, you want to do some some running, some sprinting. These, if yeah, if, if you're looking for something to use on a running track, I would I would consider those uh, for sure. Now the last from the collection is it's something that you may consider controversial, but it's a good old Converse. So <laughs> I think at least. Every fr every friend of mine has a pair of Converse. This is a classic shoe, but not necessarily when it comes to training. Not many people think of those shoes as a training shoe. However, because of the flat sole and because of the rubber, the toe area being covered in, in, in rubber, they are a very good, cheap, durable shoe for training. You can see many powerlifters using this shoe as their shoe of choice just because they can feel the ground, they can, because of the, thanks to the great rubber, they can really squeeze into the ground. So I'll explain what that means in another video, but they can really, they can really create the torque they need to weight these heavy, heavy barbells uh, when they do the uh, power lifts like deadlifts and uh, squats so very good option now to run really quickly through price so uh, retail price for these is around 100 pounds but uh, but i got a pair i've got a pair for 45 pounds in sydney uh, i'm sure you can find something similar in london we are in the uk here so so i'm sure you can find a pair for 50 quid i'll try to put a link to similar shoe for similar price in the description. Currently, Speed TRs are on offer. If you don't mind wearing a white shoe, you can get this bad boy for 20 something pounds, 22 pounds, I think. It's ridiculous. Um, on top of that, if you sign up to Reebok's newsletter, I think you get an additional 15 pounds voucher code. So, I mean, <laughs> 20 quid for this? Any day. Um, these, I think these cost me, they, uh, this is the older model of the Zoom training, Nike Zoom training shoe. The new, the brand new model costs around 90 pounds, if I'm not mistaken. These can be found for around 55 to 65 online. I'm sure very soon the new model will be, will be priced similarly. Uh, just hunt for deal. They come in red and black. Also, I mean, all of these come in different colors. So, so uh, don't. So, all the retailers are pushing Nano Seven instead of Nano Six. But yeah, I'm sure in a couple of weeks they will be. They will want to get rid of all the old stock of Nano Six. So, if you if you don't mind waiting a little bit, wait a couple of weeks and go for this shoe. This is a bulletproof shoe. So the last shoe is the Converse. If you want to save some money or you already own these and you don't want to spend any more on these trainers because quite honestly trainers don't get you fit. You get fit yourself. So so yeah, just take these, start with those, start lifting. You can do a little bit of running in those. I mean, they won't be super comfortable for longer runs obviously, but just just go out there and do it. If you have them and you feel like you need, you don't feel like you need a new pair of trainers to train. You just need the motivation and you need the persistence. So go out there and do it if you already own these and you don't want to spend any more money. Full stop. Now, if you liked my video, please make sure you uh, like it, leave a comment below and subscribe for more content similar, similar to this. The next video I'll make will be about premium trainers. So if you already train and if you already own a pair of shoe that you know needs refreshing but you want to spend a little bit more on a little bit more in a little bit on, on a little bit better shoe then definitely watch my next video. It will be it will include the latest uh, Metcons, the latest uh, Nano 7 and also will include some uh, other premium brands like Noble trainer and another fly knit trainer that's I think one of my favorite sort of non-crossfit shoes um, 
So yeah, again, thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe. Take care. Bye.